Okay, in this short video we're going to discuss how to do exponential smoothing as a forecasting technique. And once again, what we're really trying to do is we're, we're trying to say if something, um, if here's our forecast and the actual from the previous month, what should we expect to happen in month two? Okay, so that's what we're looking at is trying to, trying to guess what's going to happen in month two based on what's happened in the past. Now we call this exponential smoothing because what we're trying to do is we're going to take both our actual value and our forecasted value from the previous month and say here's our normal baseline, our forecast. Something really did happen actually last month, so how do we use both to be able to forecast what's going to happen in the future? So what's the, here's, here's the way we do it. Um, the forecast is going to equal um, and we call this the alpha value. The alpha value is 20% if you will. So this is saying let's take 20% of what happened actually last month and then let's add that to 80% 1 minus, 20, minus the 20% times the forecast. Alright so once again the idea is let's use both the previous forecast and actually what happened use some sort of weighting um, for this and come up with a new uh, forecast. So the forecast for month two in this case equals alpha 20 percent times the actual amount, right? And then we're going to add that to 1 minus alpha which is the remaining 80 percent times what happened with the forecast. There's our answer, 12.8. Um, from a holistic viewpoint, if you look at it, the forecast from before was 13. Probably still a reasonable forecast because we were only off by 12. Um, but we're going to take and decrement it just a little bit from 13 down to 12.8 based on what happened on the actual. Hopefully this makes sense to you and you understand how now how to use a exponential smoothing forecast.